What is up, Cog Squad? It is gone! Previously on the Cog Blog. Boss lady to sleep, but I'm gonna go on down there and light the scalder. I don't know what these guys are thinking by leaving their keys in this skid steer with Mrs. Cog Hill around. You know, I'm just I'm just saying. What's up everybody? Jason over here at Cog Kill Farm. Look, it is gone. The trees, the limbs, everything has been cleaned up. So today I'm going to give you a walk around of what all has happened since the last video of the trees being cut down. We're also going to worm some goats today and we're going to get started planting some seeds for the fall garden. But first, we got to go feed this farm before they, before they jump on me. Yeah, these guys did just an amazing job. They really came back, they cleaned, you know, once they got all the trees gone and the limbs gone and stuff shredded and cut up, you know, they really came and did an excellent job. Right here was the tree that fell, that snapped in half and fell right across through here onto the goat pen the other day. Now we've had got decisions to make. Do we start on expanding the garden or do we start working on a chicken coop? Mrs. Cockhill ran across a uh, one of these cotton trailers or co cotton wagons for sale. And it was a good ways off, so we didn't get it. But what it did was, is it gave, you know, a little light bulb moment went off. And so we're thinking instead of building a coop from scratch, we could get one of those cotton wagons, sort of like, I think Joel Salatin uses them. A lot of people use them, and they call them egg mobiles. Ours wouldn't actually move around the property because we don't have that much property. But, you know, I'm thinking we could get that, make it look cute and rustic or whatever we wanted to do with it. And that would save a lot of time and possibly a lot of money if we could get one at a really, really good deal. But she has been on a mission trying to find one of these and she's been contacted by several people. And so we'll see how that works out. Y'all remember in my last video, this is kind of where the, the main area was. This is where the main disease trees were, were right here, where all the piles were and all that. Not anymore. It is really nothing now but dirt and shredded wood chips. And all this will break down and just make this dirt even better than what it is. Now what I'm planning for this area is to plant some fruit trees. That's what I'm really wanting to do. I got, you know, we got the three figs in the back that are cuttings that should be ready to roll say come fall. Hey, Foxy. I got one apple tree down in another area and I used to have two, but one of them died. So I only have one, so I don't have any cross pollination. So I'm not getting any apples. So I need an apple tree. I would love to have a good pear tree and a plum tree oh when i was talking about the fall garden well, we're fixing to start our fall garden seeds today oh that's gonna be pretty those lime ones are awesome aren't they? lime green zinnia who ever heard of such some of them are super tall cut them short they fit your little vase okay oh yeah that one's really pretty. Mm -hmm. They're all different varieties. Mm -hmm. That it? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Awesome. All our seeds basically come from Hall Seed Company for the most part. I'll put a link to their stuff down below as well. It is honestly just way too hot for us to try to do those seeds outside so we're gonna bring them inside the house in this ac because we don't need to have a heat stroke you know trying to get some seeds started and so mrs cock Hill doesn't have a stroke we're gonna put a garbage bag down
Maybe two. You shut that door back. And oh boy, we're planting a bunch of new stuff today. We, we, we got a bunch of seeds that, uh, that we've never grown before. Um, one being kurabi. Have y'all ever grown kurabi? I would love to know what you think about it because this is something I've been wanting to grow but just never done it. But this year we're gonna get it. Uh, of course we got two different types of kale. We grow kale every year. Brussels sprouts. Now I've tried Brussels sprouts in the past and I've never done well with these but we're gonna give them a shot this year. Mary Carl, love, we all love Brussels sprouts. We have three different types of cauliflower. Cauliflower is something else that I have not done well with, but we're gonna give it a shot this year. And we got this cool purple graffiti cauliflower. We got a snowball cauliflower, and we got this flame star cauliflower. Collars we grow every year, so this is nothing new for us there. But we're gonna try broccoli again. I have totally failed at broccoli in the past. The guys at Hoss Tube Company, Travis and Greg, they said this green magic broccoli is really great in our climate, which is hot. That's what it is, hot and humid. And this cauliflower, this broccoli is supposed to be great for zone eight. Wow, how awesome was that? That rhyme, did you hear that? Take it outside, because it's ready. What's really awesome about the fall garden is, is it's sunny outside, it's hot outside. You don't have to worry about your seeds being inside or the right temperature. I'm just gonna stick them actually over here in the shade because I don't want them to dry out and they really don't need any sunlight at the moment. So I'm gonna let them keep my figs and hydrangeas company. Y'all can have a parte if you like. And then when I water the hydrangeas and figs every day, I'll just come back through, give these a little rinse. Main thing is, is keeping them moist. You don't want them to dry out and you don't want them super wet. Just good and evenly moist. If you wanna know when to plant, that's really dependent on your zone. There's an app that I like that's only in Alabama, but it's for zone eight. I love that app. I did a whole video about that app. It'll also tell you what to plant for zone eight. And also, if you're in zone eight, go check out the guys over at Halls Tool. I'll put a link to their video where they go into detail about what to plant at what time during the fall, because we're starting these now then in a couple of more months we'll direct seed some stuff and then later on in the fall where we do this again and then we'll do something else now let's go worm some goats we noticed that the females not the tnt boys but the females bo peep and bootsy their eyes were kind of light pink so we want to warm them we think they're both pregnant so we're going to warm them with safeguard where we put it, Mary Carl? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do safeguard for goats, and this is safe for pregnant goats. Uh, we usually use like to use valbazin, but that's not safe for pregnant goats. That could cause some issues. So, safeguard today for the girls, and my backup help is coming. A little different. So I think we're thinking two milliliters, right? Is that what you said? No, ma'am. Don't, don't Bootsy try to kiss is her yet. bottle fed by us. Friendly. Oh, don't try to kiss her. Bo Peep, we got from a Old South Goat Farm. She's not bottle fed. That's not Bo. Bo? <laughs> Give us a little kick, girl. Mm, that was funny. Can I get you in the goat boy? Yeah, I know. They attracted to the camera. Uh-oh. Catch her? Almost had her. Almost. 
I almost had her. All right, Daddy, get on that side. Make a rodeo. I told you. Put her in between your legs. You just don't want to. Settle down. Come here, baby. I touch her. Mm-hmm. Done. Bootsy! Bootsy with the fabulous ready, beard. We can ride it. No, baby. Oh, she bit me! You don't want to open your mouth, though, do you? Put on the sack. I can't get it in. <laughs> Come on, Bunny. Done. What do you think, Boots? She bit you good. See that? Mm. Is that pink? Yeah. No, that's Tucker. Dude, I just saw pink. Pink is right there. Dad, look. Pink has been missing since the tree guys have been here. We thought she was gone. We thought a tree fell on her. We thought they loaded her up. <laughs> she's been gone for about three to five days. Now yeah. she's back. Tree guys are gone. Pink shows back up. We have no clue where she's been. She is the best cat. I know Mort's pretty good too, though. Yeah, that pink is so sweet. All right, let me hang the TNT boys mineral bucket up. Oh. Well, we can get these mineral buckets now because we like these because it's got copper in it. A lot of minerals we've been finding lately don't have copper in it, and goats need copper, especially in our area because the ground here in central Alabama, it's just no copper here. So we've been getting this goat mineral that's got copper in it. And what's cool about it is, you know, it's got the little notch in it with the flat back that goes with this hanger. But the problem is, is these goons here somehow another tote this bucket off. So I'm gonna put it on a hanger for them, like right now. It don't stink. It looks like copper. You know what's in here? I think that's where they got their pink heads from. It could be where they got their pink heads from. Working in here is always a challenge. Always a challenge with the TNT boys. I tell you, y'all could be a tag team in the WWE, there's no doubt. Oh, no! All right, boys, got y'all fixed up. Yes, sir. The girls don't, it's just funny. The guys' bucket ends up, and you can see it right now. I gotta get it out of there. This is, hey! That's, that's their mineral bucket right there. Of course, it's empty. But even if it's not empty, it just ends up somewhere randomly in the goat pen. The girl's mineral bucket is in the exact same spot it was when I put it in there two weeks ago. Now we gotta get us another hanger for the girls. Now water buckets will be all home. Hey guys, if you like smiling, you like having fun, you like laughing, and you want to know what it's like living on a small family farm, just follow us, hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you want to know when we upload a new video, be sure to hit the bell notification. If you're interested in any cocky or farm gear, like this logo shirt, we got a ton of shirts. Check out that link right over here somewhere. And as always, y'all be good.